Hi everyone, Roger here from Mastercard Experts YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about BMW transfer cases. I'm going to show you how to change the fluid in your transfer case and I'm going to go over some common symptoms that I've seen and things you can do to test to see if the transfer case is the issue. Please take a moment to hit like and if you're not a subscriber yet, please hit that subscribe tab. Hitting that like tab really helps me out and it's greatly appreciated. Thank you everyone. Now this is going to be part of my diagnosis series but I do have a video on how to change the fluid in your transfer case. Now BMW transfer cases can have a lot of different problems and a lot of times they will not set a fault code. What you're going to experience when you're driving is you may get a slight chatter. You feel like there's a hesitation, almost feels like your transmission is slipping. It may actually feel like when your clutch was failing in a manual transmission. It has that kind of judder to it on acceleration. Sometimes you feel it more going up a hill. Sometimes you'll feel it when you're turning the wheels slightly, or if you do concentric circles and you just keep going around and around, or try to do some figure eights and you feel a little bit of a chatter. A lot of times the chatter happens when you're slightly cornering uh, to the right or left, and that is when you'll feel almost like a misfire. Now I've had other technicians chasing a misfire, what they think is a misfire, and it ends up being it was the transfer case all along. So if you don't have a misfire fault and it feels like your vehicle has a misfire, it may be your transfer case. I'm gonna show you how to check your transfer case. Now there is no service interval that you would know to change your fluid in a transfer case. I would recommend that maybe you decide to change your fluid every 60,000 miles. It's just a good recommendation to put some new fluid in there to help prolong the life of the transfer case. The only way you would know that there's a problem and the fluid needs to be changed is there's a fault code that sets that says fluid change is due and only when the dealer scans the car will they notice that code is present and they may then recommend a fluid change for you but that might already be too late. Now the 60,000 recommendation is not a BMW specific recommendation. The fluid is technically a lifetime fluid until it sets the fault. 60,000 in my opinion is just a good rule of thumb to help prolong the life of your transfer case. Let's talk about transfer case diagnosis real quick. So you have that chatter and you're not really sure what it is. You wanna prove it's your transfer case. Well, you're gonna to need to get under the car, take the underbody panel down, and then with that down on the back of the transfer case is an electric motor and there's an electric connection on that. You just have to press the tab. It is a little hard to get to, but you have to press that tab and just slide it back so it doesn't connect on the pins anymore. Then lower the car, get ready to drive it. When you start your car, you should have multiple warning lights on ABS DSC and that's going to tell you that your transfer case is disabled. Now you're going to take that car for a drive and you're going to see if the symptom's gone. So drive it straight if it was happening straight, drive it in turns if it was happening in turns. Really put the time in to verify that the symptom is gone. Once you've verified that the symptom is coming from your transfer case as I described, get back under the car, plug that sucker back in, cycle the key. You might have to drive it for the warning lights to go away or clear the codes with your scan tool. Take it for a drive and see if the symptom returns. If the symptom returns, you know you have a problem with your transfer case. Now that you've identified the problem, best thing you can do, and sometimes it does fix the car, to do a fluid change in the transfer case. Now if you have a good scan tool, you can actually clear the adaptations of the transfer case. A lot of regular scan tools cannot do this. Uh, there is an Altel that runs around $500 that uh, I had a friend at work purchased and the thing's absolutely amazing. I'm actually considering purchasing it myself because of a lot of service functions and one of those are to enable you to reset the adaptations of the transfer case. Best next step is to actually change the fluid. Now on your transfer case, you may or may not have a fill and a drain plug. A lot of times transfer cases only have one plug now and that's just a fill plug. So how do you get the fluid out? Let me show you. This is how I change the transfer case fluid in all the fluids in a BMW that are oil based. This is a ratchet transfer pump. I've had this for a very long time and actually everyone in the shop borrows it from me. And I tell them, do not clean it with brake clean because you will actually destroy it. I only ever run oil through this and you can see it's actually all oily. I say wipe it down and put it back in its greasy container because that's gonna help prolong the life of this unit. It comes with two adapters and it comes with this little ratchet pump. This is super simple to use. So you just have to plug it in on each end, 
And if you look at it, there's an arrow pointing out. So this is the direction of the fluid. Now we can use this to actually suction the oil out of the transfer case and to then overflow it and pump new fluid in, just like the video that I'm gonna be showing you. Let's start by taking down the underbody panel, which is just eight millimeter screws for all of these for this panel. This is the location of the plug for the transfer case that you will have to unplug for diagnostic purposes. So you see you have to loosen the drain plug, take the drain plug out, and in some cases like this one the drain and fill plug are the same. Then insert the tool and you're going to use a ratchet to remove all of the fluid. So we're going to do that now. Once that's all done, we're going to set up our bottles and we're going to flip our connection and we're going to suck from the bottle and we're going to fill up the transfer case until it overflows. Now, you may need to change the fluid more than once because you, if, if you only have a fill plug, then the real repair is to remove the transfer case, drain the whole sucker out put it back in, fill it with fluid, and then drive it. Well, that's a lot of work, and that's actually a lot of time. So the best thing to do is fill it till it overflows, drive it, see if the symptom's better, drain it, do it again, do it a few times. It's still going to be less expensive than replacing a transfer case, and you may actually save your transfer case and get rid of that chatter. As you can see, there's not much space, so this is a headset tool that I've modified so that I can get into the drain plug, fill plug easier. Let me show you how this transfer pump works. So we have our siphon tube and we have our thinner tube, which I usually use a thinner tube to put inside the transfer case. Now this is for filling and for siphoning. So we have an inlet and we have an outlet and there's an arrow. So this is our inlet. So I would be hooking this up here and then my outlet would be here. And they're just quick connections, which makes this super easy, super fast. Then you just use your ratchet. And this is made for a ratchet, which is awesome. So when I ratchet this, this is gonna come over, it's gonna catch it just like that and hold it in place. And then I can either siphon and fill, right? This would go in my bottle if I'm actually filling. And then my fluid's gonna come out here and you just run your ratchet. And the internal pump siphons it out and you're good to go. This tool is a must have. And you never wanna mix any kind of coolant or brake fluid with this. This should only be for strictly for oils. You also wanna do a prime on this because if, say you use, if you just use it for diff fluid, and now I'm gonna use it for transmission fluid. I'm gonna suck up some transmission fluid. I'm gonna prime all these, this line so that any residual fluid is gonna be removed. And I just have transmission fluid or whatever fluid I'm using in my outlet before I put it into the car. Now that is how easy it is to change the transfer case fluid on a BMW. I would highly consider doing this as a maintenance service or if you're already experiencing the symptom go ahead and try to change the fluid out and hopefully it will fix your symptom and you'll be able to save your transfer case. Now BMW actually has a service bulletin on this particular problem on newer cars where they can actually develop that chatter and what you're supposed to do is you change the fluid just like I said, you reset adaptations and you need to drive the vehicle for about 120 miles. If the symptom is fixed, then it's good to go and you're supposed to release the car. If the symptom is not fixed, Unfortunately, a transfer case is the only way to fix this problem. So you will be replacing the transfer case if this procedure does not work. If you're experiencing this symptom, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know if changing the fluid actually fixed your problem or you ended up having to replace your transfer case. All right, everyone, remember to hit that like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate all you subscribers and a lot more informative videos to come in the future. So stay tuned. Take care, everybody. Just want to mention I did a video on how to check for spark 
to make sure that it's not your DME that's causing a problem and that it may be just a coil. I'll put a link up in the corner here for you to check this out. I actually have this cool tool that we use right here and we actually saw a live spark outside the vehicle. So if you wanna check that out, there's that link.